Hi, my name is Omar Vidari from Omar's BI blog, and today I'm going to share my top five tips to optimize and tune the performance of your MicroStrategy installation. Tip one, data population for reports for normalizing the report data. Whenever a user runs a report or publishes a cube, the data will be normalized. In this context, the data normalization refers to how duplicate data will be handled for attribute elements which appear multiple times. The default setting is to allow duplicate data to flow through and it will be handled in memory. The better option is to normalize the report or cube data in the intelligence server. The intelligence server is built for this type of in-memory processing and is even noted to be faster within the MicroStrategy documentation. This can be enabled in the VLDB settings for either the report or the database connection. Data, VLDB properties, query optimizations, data population for reports, normalized data in the intelligent server. Tip two, parallel query execution or PQE. This is a great feature which can add a significant performance gains but is disabled out of the box. This feature does exactly what the name describes. When this feature is enabled, the analytical and SQL engine check if there are multiple passes of the report. And if so, we'll also check if they are dependent on one another. If not, those SQL passes are executed in parallel rather than chronologically and individually. PQE can be enabled at the report or database instance level within the VLDB settings. Data, VLDB properties, query optimizations, parallel query execution, enable parallel query execution, Tip 2B, parallel query execution passes. As a bonus, you can set the number of parallel queries which are allowed to be executed at the same time at the project level. By default, the parallel passes are set to two when enabled. If you have the hardware to support more, go for it. Something to note, parallel queries are counted on a per report basis. Project configuration. Project definition. Advanced, configure, query optimizations, maximum parallel queries per report. Tip three, subquery type. In just about every scenario that I've tested, changing the subquery type has improved the performance significantly. The default server setting is to perform an actual subquery, which usually comes from an intermediate table which was created from a previous pass. I found that changing the setting to a true temporary table instead of a subquery produces a join directly to that intermediate table, which increases performance. This setting can be found in the VLDB properties at either the report level or at the database connection level. Data, VLDB properties, query optimizations, subquery type, use temporary table. Tip four. Intermediate table indexes. Now that we have the intermediate table type as a true table, we can leverage indexes to further increase performance. I've had the best results by selecting only secondary index on intermediate table option. This can be enabled in the VLDB settings for either the report or the database connection level. Data, VLDB properties, indexing, Intermediate table indexes. Create only secondary indexes on intermediate table. Tip 4B, indexing metric columns. With indexes now enabled, we have the option to also index metric columns as well. The main consideration would be if the intermediate table would have more than the allotted columns or bytes. 
Intermediate passes won't typically have more than 16 columns, so enabling this option is typically okay, but you'll have to practice some discretion when enabling. Indexing can be enabled in the VLDB settings at either the report or the database connection level. Data VLDB properties Indexing Allow index on metric Allow the creation of indexes on metric columns. Tip 4C. Composite or column indexes. If columns are a consideration when creating indexes, you do have the choice to either select a composite or a column-based index. Composite indexes will contain all of the columns in the intermediate table. Column indexes will create a single index per column in the intermediate table. I found that composite indexes perform best. Indexing can be enabled at the VLDB settings at either the report level or the database connection level. Data, VLDB properties, indexing, secondary index type, composite or individual index on temporary tables. Tip 5. Transaction Isolation Level Typically, data warehouses are read-only, so the database can be set to read uncommitted to prevent locks. MicroStrategy as a BI platform is more unique since we have the write-back functionality, so there may be other considerations when configuring the transaction isolation level. Luckily, we can discreetly, on a per-report basis, set the transaction isolation level to read uncommitted. I've been doing this for years. Although the performance gains aren't always obvious, the gains become clear when there's heavy database activity. Data, VLDB properties, pre and post statements, report pre statement, type in set transaction isolation level read uncommitted. For additional details on this topic, or to view the original blog post, please click the link in the description below or visit omarvidare.com to see this and other related content. Thanks for watching.